Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Altmighty Java. In this video, we will see about a thread pool. What is a thread pool? Most of the executor implementations in java.util.concurrent use thread pools, which consist of worker threads. This kind of thread exists separately from the runnable and callable tasks it executes and is often used to execute multiple tasks. Using worker threads minimizes the overhead due to thread creation. Thread objects use a significant amount of memory, and in a large-scale application, Allocating and deallocating many thread objects creates a significant memory management overhead. One common type of thread pool is the fixed thread pool. This type of pool always has a specified number of threads running. If a thread is somehow terminated while it is still in use, it is automatically replaced with a new thread. Tasks are submitted to the pool via an internal queue which holds extra tasks whenever there are more active tasks than threads. What is Thread Pool Executor? An executor service that executes each submitted task using one of possibly several pooled threads, normally configured using executor's factory methods. Thread pools address two different problems. They usually provide improved performance when executing large numbers of asynchronous tasks. Due to reduced per task invocation overhead, and they provide a means of bounding and managing the resources, including threads, consume when executing a collection of tasks. Each thread pool executor also maintains some basic statistics, such as the number of completed tasks. To be useful across a wide range of contexts, this class provides many adjustable parameters and extensibility hooks. However, programmers are urged to use the more convenient executors factory methods executors. New cache thread pool, unbounded thread pool, with automatic thread reclamation, executors. New fixed thread pool, fixed size thread pool, and executors. New single thread executor, single background thread. That pre-configure settings for the most common usage scenarios. Let's implement. Let's create a new package for thread pool. The package name should end with the pool. Create main class. Let's create worker class or thread. Add some generalized code. That's it for this class. To create a thread pool we will use a thread factory. Under executors, there is a method called default thread factory. Create an object for thread pool executor. Let's declare all required variable like core pool size or min, max. A live time, so core pool size declare as 2. Maximum pool size declare as 5. Keep a live time declare as 10 milliseconds. Add unit in seconds. And work queue create an object of array blocking queue, declare a variable for queue size. and pass thread factory also in thread pool executor constructor. Add handler also in constructor. Let's create rejection handler so if any thread rejected that class will take care. Create a new class for rejection handler. And this will implement rejection execution handler. Override rejected execution method. Just add some message.
Now create 10 thread and execute using execute method. And at the end shut down the pool executor. Let's run and see it's working or not. C2 threads rejected, not clear which one, override to string method for worker. Run again. See it's telling clearly which one is rejected. So minimum 2 pool and maximum 5 pool, alive time is 10 seconds, queue size is 3. If some thread got rejected, that is taken care of by rejection handler. Let's change some configuration and see how it will affect the output so instead of 10 change it to 100 threads. As we declare it we have minimum 2 and maximum 5 pool and 1 thread will alive for 10 seconds, and queue size should not be more than 3, so now you can see many threads got rejected, increase the sleep time and run again. Not much difference still many threads are rejecting. Change keep alive time from 10 to 100 seconds, run again. Let's change min max pool and queue size. Run again, see now instead of rejecting, executing remaining thread also, I hope you are able to correlate with real time example. Let's add some feature to monitor thread pool so we can see how many the pool size. Active count and some more info. Add basic code. There are some method under pool executor so using that we can monitor threads like active count. Maximum pool size. Core pool size. Task count is shut down. Is terminated. So before start execute method need to create monitor class object and start monitor thread like we generally do. And at the end shut down monitor thread.
see it's printing properly. Let's see what we added for thread monitor. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.